Hey GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host Zila, and we're here today doing the Alpha 9 series. Don't worry, you're looking at a new screen, but this is just... What we're going to do today is we're going to update our game, our save game, to the 9.5 Alpha. And the way we're going to do this, I have already updated the scenario. Just go back to start a new game, go back to the generic brand Galaxy scenario, and just, it it doesn't necessarily really matter what seed you choose. Uh, name name the it something that you know. I'm calling it my GBG update, my 9.5 GBG update. The only reason we're creating the save that we're going to do right now is just to extract some information out of it for our old save so that we can continue on with our old save without having to restart. <clears throat> okay. The difficulty settings, uh, I don't think really matter. Um, I think that'll it'll depend on the um, it's just gonna create the yeah I don't think this matters at all none of this matters really just choose the tempered or something easy just to to fall onto um, the seed doesn't really matter you could match it up with your original seed that you used if you want but we're only modifying uh, we're only going to be adding in three play fields, so if they're a different seed than your original play field, it's not a big deal. Not really a big deal. Okay. Uh, so let's let's just start. We're going to start this after you've named it. Let's start it. Now this takes a while for most people because it's a big scenario. Um, You can see it has to generate all the planets. So right now what it's doing is it's taking all of the, all of my uh, static YAMLs and my dynamic YAMLs and mashing them all together to make playfield YAMLs. And once these playfield YAMLs are created, uh, it's gonna create them all in the templates folder. And then we're going to go back into the, we're going to just basically log off this save. We're going to go into the save that we just created. And we're going to extract three folders out of there and the sectors file. Because I've modified the sectors file to add a sector with these play fields in it. So the play fields I added. You're, at, you're wondering, well, uh, one of them I've been at, wanting to add for about a week now, I think uh, the, um, the update before 9.5 added a metal planet, and I've been meaning to add that. I haven't gotten around to it till now. And, and then today they added a water planet. So I added both of them in the same sector. <laughs> so there's two the two new planets are have their own sector in my uh thing so you can see for me this went it seemed really slow i have a pretty powerful machine for a lot of people that might take like 10 minutes so we're just gonna let it crash we're just gonna crash down here we're not really trying to do anything other than just let it crash I just want to make sure that it doesn't crap out it should be fine I've already tested it a couple times now this is the generic starting template temperate now I did not do the secondary uh, temperate the new the other new temperate starter that they added I didn't bother in my scenario it's like ah there's already four starters. Now, technically, they've they've added a new PDA, so that's great. Uh, that all will automatically, wh whenever the PDA gets updated in my scenario, 
it automatically gets up updated because I don't add the PDA information into the scenario, so it just uses the default. So we're going to skip. That should give us a bunch of gear now, and it did. There we go. Okay, so that's good. I just wanted to check that to double sure to make sure that part was functioning. That's also a new feature they they just added was the uh, if you skip that first um, tutorial, it gives you a motorcycle, the portable constructor, a de and a detector. I think the rest of this was just because of the medium gear. So over here. Um, is where all the save files are in your default folder. I just, the game is still running. And I think what I'll do is I'll just log off really quick here. Let's just, let's just get out. That way it'll create the, the actual save for us. And I'll show you. Um, so there we go. There's our 9.5 GBG update. What we want to do now is we want to take three folders out of here. Uh, so you can see this is my default path. Um, it is the default install path for Imperial Galactic Survival. Just use this pathway to get to your saves, games, the one that you just created by logging into the new to the updated scenario, and then. You're going to go into the, <clears throat> excuse me, you're going to go, to go into the templates folder, and there's three folders inside here that we need to copy. We need Aqua. Now, for those Windows users, if you want to, if you, if you don't know any Windows shortcuts really or keyboard shortcuts, and you want to just grab these three, you can hold down the shift or the control and then left click on the secondary folder or item that you want to select also. And then we're also going to select the folder called Chrome. Now that we have these three selected, um, you can let go of the control if you want. <laughs> right click, select copy. Um, <clears throat> if you're a Mac user, I don't even know if this game runs on a Mac, but or a Linux user, it should be the same. Uh, oh God, Linux, it's, um, yeah, I forget how, <laughs> whatever. Uh, I even, I even took Linux courses and stuff and, you know, I can't remember now. So great. <laughs> anyway, um, anyway, so what we're going to do now that we've copied these, we're going to go into our original game folder. So here's my original game folder. Uh, now, actually, before I actually did the did the copy here, it would be a good idea instead, before doing anything, before actually copying those three folders, what we want to do first, first and foremost, when we go in here, go to our original save. We're going to copy that one first. So etch a sketch what I just did with the new one. Very first thing you want to do is the, I don't know why I went and showed you that first. This is the most important thing. Make sure this is backed up. So you're going to copy this. And I'll just make the copy down here. We're not going to touch this copy, copy. And hopefully we don't have to. Hopefully we can just delete it. So it's just going to sit here for now. We're going to go into our new save. We're going to go into the sectors, or sorry, we're going to go into the templates and we're going to select those three, like I showed you, Aqua, Aqua Orbit, and Chrome. We're going to copy those. We're going to go into our original game save. We're going to paste those into the templates folder. Because oh, those those are the new play fields, and the templates folder have the playfield YAMLs that have been generated by the uh, the two, the static and the dy dynamic one, when you first logged in. So now that we have those available, 
We also have to grab the sectors file. So we're going to go into, so from our new save, this is the old save. From the new save, go back into the new save. We're going to copy the sectors folder. We're going to go into the new or the old save now. Very important, you never mess with your copy of your old save. Just leave that alone. Again, I'm stressing you're never going to do anything in with this. And hopefully you never have to. Okay? This is just for if, if you screw up, you can just rename that, get rid of the copy, and you're back in business again. But So now that we've copied the new sectors file, we're just going to paste this into our old game save. And we're going to replace the file in the destination. So this will have the new created one with the new uh, sector aqua orbit. So now that that is in place in our old save, you should be good to go. You should be able to just log into your old save and that sector full with those three play fields will now be available to go to. And we can test that right now. <clears throat> we'll fire up the game again. Sorry, I don't know. I don't even know why I closed the game. I shouldn't have bothered. It doesn't matter. It just takes a second to fire up. Yes, I re run the easy anti-cheat. Okay, so once this loads up here, we can go into our save. And we're going to resume game because it's a, it's an old save. Uh, and we're not going to resume the one that we just did. We're going to go into our old one. And we're going to load that. Notice how I didn't do anything with the copy, copy yet. Okay, so now that we've loaded up our old save, uh, so everything looks fine, no errors, nothing, that's good. Let's check our map. We're going to go into our map, and we're going to go into our sector map. And, oh, look at that. What do we got there? We have a new sector called Aqua that we can go explore. What do we got for planet info? Well, Aqua has... Sathium, Arrestrium, Sathium. Oh, we were looking for a Sathium. And remember, this is dynamically generated, so this is a little bit random. Kind of a little bit random. Not, I'm not sure about the deposits. I'd have to look. Uh, they're probably pretty fixed. I didn't even check to see what they were when I made this. It's just I wanted to put the new planets in, right? So, okay, well, that's cool. There's Sathium there, Arrestrium, gold, Promethium, copper, iron, silicone. Wow. Has all the starting stuff, plus Sathium, Arrestrium, and Gold. <laughs> Could be a starting planet. Plus it's temperate too, eh? That'd be kind of... Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Very interesting. That could be a very difficult planet to get around in too, if it's all water. We might have to go check these out, guys. So here we go. We've got the other one called Chrome. It is... It calls it Barren. But it's a barren metal planet. And it has arrestrium, zascosium, copper, cobalt, silicone, promethium, and gold. Wow. Nice. What's in the orbit? Cobalt, promethium, and sathium. <laughs> exactly. Promethium and sathium. Exactly. What, okay, so I, I kind of just gave myself a little bonus there. Uh, wow. Nice. Well, we're going to have to go check that out. I think uh, let's finish off the episode by 
going checking it out in uh, what what uh, what was the distance on that? Oops. Um, six point six. Oh yeah, so that's really close. Nice. Okay, so let's go there. We'll take the. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to take the dart because I don't think I need to. I'm just gonna take the. Oh, well, this. This guy is beat up. Look at him. I have forgotten. I have neglected him. Oh my, poor guy. It's just, I'm not really sure if I want to take the dart down there because there's patrol vessels and stuff, right? Um, you know what, though? It's ready to go, and we're just going to take a boo. We're just going to fly around. If the, if the patrol vessel comes, we'll take off. Plus, we've got the mini miner with us if we want to mine something up. Something up. It's, it's kind of a risk, though, doing that. Uh, with the patrol vessel around, so I probably won't. But, here, let's turn our light on, sorry. Uh, okay, let's check this out. And we'll go in and turn everything back on here. Engines. I think that's all I need. I haven't tied the cannons with the other stuff yet. Uh, we've still got 43. Here we can. I don't have any on me. That's fine. You know what? We're just. I've probably got enough o oxygen in here. And. No, maybe not. Did I. Um, okay, well, I've got water. Which one did I... Did I put it in one of these? can't remember now. I thought I did it in that one, but it's empty. Okay. we still got some ammo. I mean, I guess I could take the SV and... Oh, crap. We've got all this... This uh, stone. That's okay. We've still got lots of space. That's not that big of a deal. Although it's 79 tons. Seventy nine tons, that's quite a bit. That could when we break orbit, when we go or when we go into um nothing in the fridge. Okay, so we've got some emergency rations. Let's grab uh let's grab some food. Have we made anything? Yep, we got burgers. Man, oh man, I'm gonna take burgers with me. Nice. <laughs> Sweet. And do we have other stuff? We still got our the rest of our other gear too. We've got some some small two bottles on us. Uh but we do need to I, I mean we we can make O2. You know what? Let's just go. Uh, wait, uh fuel. Fuel. I should grab fuel. Fuel. Um, let's make sure we're fueled up. Okay. And then we'll grab some. Uh, yeah, I'll just, you know what? I don't need all of it. And I don't need all of this. Okay. And just take a little bit of this just in case we need some okay we should be good we should go let's go we're out of here we're out of here okay um i didn't have anything connected in my bar did i no nope. okay so what i'll do now is actually i'm going to connect to my Container controller, or should I do the ore and wood? I know the ore and wood is massive. Yeah, we'll do the ore and wood because it's just we've got a lot of volume for that. Now I'm a little worried about the tonnage, though. If we get into trouble, we may have to eject this stone. <laughs> if we get in trouble on the planet, uh, I didn't have a problem problem on the snow planet, but it has a low gravity, so. 
it could be a whole different issue when we go to this new one. So let's go check it out. Let's bring up our thing. We're going to target this. <laughs> a new planet. A new planet. This is fun. Okay, so where are you? Where are you? You are... You are there. Okay, it's calling it Chrome, even though it's Aqua. <laughs> I guess I targeted the moon by accident. I don't know. Let's just go. <laughs> it's, it's, I don't know. I don't know why it called it Chrome. That's really weird. Okay, so there's the two planets side by side. Pretty cool. Look at that. That's lots of water. <laughs> Holy. And then the other one is a barren metal. Uh, well, let's go check out the water planet first. We don't have a lot of... This thing is a pig on fuel. I really need to make a mining vessel, exploring vessel, a proper one that's cheaper on fuel. and Although it probably... It's probably not going to be much cheaper because I'm going to have to put some real heavy-duty thrusters on it to be decent for cargo, so... Eh, we'll see. But it's not going to have all the heavy armor that this thing does. Right? It's not going to have two layers of frickin' armor around it. Um, and the other thing, too, is uh, it's not going to be made out of cargo extensions because my god the amount of power that the extensions use is a little ridiculous I don't know if they've adjusted that but it's um I think it's a little I mean it's five times more than what a standard cargo box is so really five times more power an extension takes than a than a full size cargo box Wow, okay. So you got to keep that in mind. They're very expensive to run. So when you're doing the uh, controllers plus a whole bunch like I did on this thing, it's going to drain the power really quick when you're flying around. And even when you're just sitting, it just drains the power when you're just sitting with all those cargo containers, sadly. So let's get over water. come down hopefully not on top of the uh, patrol vessel and so we okay we're not sinking at all so the weight that we currently have is not um, impeding us so that's good it actually doesn't seem to be slowing us down at all let's take a look to see how fast we can ascend Oh yeah, 60, 65. We're getting into actually almost warp speed going up. So that's okay. That's okay. Yeah, we're... We're... we're um, <laughs> I think we're going to be fine with this thing. So I, I don't want to really go around too much here. Uh, but... We'll explore it a little bit. We'll explore it a little bit. It's pretty cool. You know what this really reminds me of is the old, the old school, um, uh, God, what was it called? Not Omicron. Um, yeah, gosh darn, it was like the high end planet for Alpha Six and Five. Ah. I forget it now. I forget what it was called. But it used to be a water planet. Like this. And oh, what do we got there? We gotta be careful. The defenses on these freaking planets are vicious. If you're within 500 meters, you might get missiled up the yin yang now. So, like, serious seriously deadly freaking POIs now guys I am serious if you 
if you see a defense three or something like that, don't even get within 500 meters of it because you're going to get shot down. <laughs> you better have a heavily armored vehicle. You're better off going in with a uh, maybe a Super HV or something. But, uh, oh, well, that's interesting. What is that over there? Not really sure. The other thing is, I don't want to get this thing to... Although, this thing could tank it. This thing could just tank a bunch of hits. Old tower, yay. Okay, so it's going to have a bunch of the old crap, too. That we've seen a hundred times. That's okay. That's okay. It needs a it needs an even mix. So, uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, I'm not sure. What sort of? Eh. Eh, it's not going to have the greatest in the way of higher end resources here, but. We may sniff some out. We've we've found silicone so far, but it'd be nice to find some more arrestrium. It would be really nice to find a gold, but in the meantime, let's go check out the other planet. So we, uh, yeah, we're we're flying straight up at seventy, and that's like. That's like crazy speed. <laughs> I'm not even sure how it could achieve that. So I think we're going to be okay with like with like a whole bunch of cargo on this thing. But it's because this thing is ridiculous amount of thrusters on it. <laughs> okay, so where is that planet? There it is. Okay, and I have no idea how far it is. I'm going to cut. And I'll come grab you when we're at the planet. Okay, we're coming into the atmosphere of the planet right now. Uh, we actually, on the way here, you can see a, a marker on my map up there. We actually discovered a Sathium <laughs> asteroid on the way. We literally flew right by it. All the way it was like yay I rejoice so I marked it of course we'll go back and mine that off camera but I was pretty excited about that because that's a lot of sathium wow this is cool look at this look at this look at this so this is a uh, standard gravity not too bad It's got fire rain. Okay, what was on what was on here again? There was uh, oh a whole bunch of wow nine gold. Wow, twenty one Zascosium. Okay, so this is this is a score. This planet. This looks like a really good one to fly around on on an HV too just mine the crap out of it, you know? Yeah. Uh, not possible to use from connected toolbar. What in the hell is it talking about? Oh, weird. What am I shooting at? Oh, there we go. Uh, a drone way too far out of... Oh, man, maybe not. Prometheum, nice. And it looks like I'm shooting this drone because I'm getting... Oh, we're shooting lots of stuff, apparently. What else is it shooting? It's shooting over here somewhere. And I'm getting... Why is it shooting over here? What's it shooting at? Oh, a plasma drone. Okay. Okay. Well, the cannon turrets on this thing have 
it seems to me they're substantially better range than than the minigun turrets because these things just start shooting at stuff from a lot longer range and i've noticed that it's not necessarily because they're they're bugged it's just because we're like the range on them is is sub pretty substantial let's let's actually let's just level off here while the fire rains on our head uh I'm going to take a look at the stats on that right now. Because that's really interesting. I want to see how much um, range they have in the, in the standard atmosphere here. So current range is 419. That's why. Okay. F wow. Okay. Much better than before. Well, they really, they, they increased the range. Okay, good, because it was really nerfed there for a while. It was really bad. So, this is cool. Look at the fire rain. And lava folds. Oh, that's what these are? Lava folds. I don't necessarily want to get out and take a look at when it's 90. Wow. It's a good thing I'm not getting hit by these things. Huh. Well, that's pretty fun. Doesn't look like anything's alive on this planet, though. What's what's this? Do we have... What do we got in the way of... Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoops. That's not a good idea. Smash into the uh, planet. That was some horrible piloting. Whew. My uh, my grandfather and father would be ashamed of that. Okay, well. On that note. Well, this was cool. Um, I guess I'll... I'm going to head back. Wow, look at how fast this thing is going up. I love it. Okay, so... I'm going to... I actually kind of want to, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to park my, I'm going to park this thing on the pole and take the HV out exploring, I think, so, that's kind of crazy though, isn't it, it's kind of crazy, but, I really want to find some gold, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. So we're going to do that. We're going to land here. Okay. Any critters around on the pole here? Nope. Nope. Okay, hopefully, you know what, I'm going to go a little bit deeper just so that in case the patrol vessel does come fairly close to the pole. Just to, just to make sure I don't uh, come back to a destroyed CV <laughs> and be stranded on this planet. Okay, well, wow, this this planet is kind of violent let's um turn off our engines and we'll just leave the rest running that is freaky well guys i'm gonna leave the episode here uh next episode we'll um i'll probably be back at base uh this isn't this vehicle is not big enough for what I want. We really need to, to build a new CV. I need to build a bigger CV with a bigger hangar bay that, that is either a mining vessel, a uh, combo cargo vehicle, and trans to transport my vehicles around too. So, and this thing, this thing's a pain in the butt for the, I can barely get the whole mole in here so I don't know and I can't and it it doesn't work at all for my SV so this is great for an initial well it was very expensive but I might actually multi-tool this thing down 
for parts and rebuild the, the new um, ship out of it, <laughs> to tell you the truth. But until then, guys, you guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day.